So, what daft thing is he doing now? Ah, <laughs> wait and see. Oh, isn't that looking rather odd? All will be revealed in a good time. all tidied up and what's going to happen with this is it's going to be mounted onto the cross feed spindle. I'm going to put a couple of holes in here and then that's going to be mounted and it'll be somewhere like back here because of the travel of this I want to keep the travel I've got where that will come all the way out that's it. So it'll be mounted that far out. So that's got to be mounted on, I don't know, plates, post, or something. I'll find something for that. I'm not quite sure what that distance is yet. 
Anyway, so I've chopped up a piece of uh, that's 50 mil aluminium bar. Uh, so this is going to be the stationary bit that's going to have like the mark on it, the zero mark. So the next one I want to make up is the moving dial. That now I've got my indexing device. I hopefully should be able to put all the marks around it. Is it 125? Yeah, because it's an 8 TPI lead screw. I believe. Start it there. an inch and it is so it's an 8 TPI lead screw so we'll get on and make that a little bit right I am quite sure I am there now which is roughly 0.2 under 40 mil, which is the same as this one. It's 0.2 under. So that will do nicely. Before I bore it, because I don't know if I'm going to make a mess of it, I want to scribe the little lines on there. So I'm going to have to go and set up the dividing head. This is the weird setup I've had to do to uh, get this running because I had to run compound gear uh, to get the 125 graduations. I've had to put a 100 tooth and a 20 tooth, which gives me a 5 to 1, and then a 25 on the spindle. So that gives us 125 around. Now, my wobbly pin that I had, you can see I haven't got the little pit on there. What I've done to cure that is I've put another sleeve in, took the old one out, and I bored it and got some reamers. I've got a 10mm reamer, and then I've got a piece of 10mm silver steel. But I took the bit off the plunger that I'd ground before because it was a really good match, and I was very pleased with that to match the teeth. So I tapped... M6 into the silver steel um, and then cut that off the old cut this bottom bit off the old pin um, turned it down, threaded it M6 so that's now into there still got the spring on it um, and I just used this I've got this knurled whatever lying around and that now is a lovely tight fit I'm really happy with that so I'm going to have to improve this. I need to make a better plate up that's got, it's a bit longer and yeah. So I need to get another piece of 10 mil alley in to do that, which I will do in time. But what I've done, let's see if I can bring you in close on this. So I've mark this where to start right so my zeros are there let's get a pointer my zero is there five so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh twenty on that one thirty forty fifty sixty seventy eighty gets a bit thin here because this wasn't quite centered, it was within five hundredths of a millimeter, but not quite. So anyway, 80, 90, 100. Some of the graduations here are a bit wobbly. I've got to set up a, um, a carriage stop. And this was sort of like when I first started. This was just practice, because that's the real bit. So I was just practicing on this page a bit here. Anyway, comes around 120, 125 back on zero there. 
and I think those graduations, once I got into it, they look quite even. I'm quite happy with that. Okay, I think that is going to work somewhat. I think we're there. And then we'll back off. Mark number two. And so on, I guess. Well, I've been round all the way once, and I've come round and done the every five thou marks. But I'm not absolutely happy because they're not quite lining up, and I think that's just because what I've done is. This is the second time going round, and there could be a little bit of indiscrepancy in that setup with the gears. So ignore that one there. We're on this one here, not not that this one. I don't know if that is going to show anything for you. Probably not. Well, they're not lining up that great. So, I think what I want to do is carry on and now go around and mark the 10,000 ones. And if I'm not that happy with it, I will remark. Or cut and remark with a different setup. Alright, I've cut the piece off that uh, didn't go quite right and uh, just trim that back a bit so I've got plenty of room. So uh, I think I'm going to give up on trying to do a carriage stop and I'm going to do it by turns of the um, longitudinal feed wheel which is this little one down here. So I know every turn of that is 100 thou so I'm going to do the individual thousandths at one turn every five thousandths at two turns and every ten thousandths at three turns which is how I done the first set on the test not these but on the larger diameter so I'm going to try that method again right so one turn on there and that's not left a mark yet Let's just start a scrape so. Give it a tiny bit more. And tighten the cross feed. Okay, so. Okay. 
Okay, one. So this one wants to be If I go around like that, I should be just about fine. So I'll come back to you later. Right, I've got my last four digits to do. See if it all fits. One. finished that last one coming a little close but I think that's going to be fine all right I think the next thing I need to do is just clean this up hopefully this will be a decent way of cleaning this up <coughs> just a very 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 light shave that should take any burrs off there at all. Mm -hmm. 
I think that looks all right. right I'm going to drill five mil into here. The only grub screws I've got left that are of a suitable size are M6s. I would prefer to have done it quarter 20. I've got none left. Not that the right length anyway, and I'm not cutting any down. Okay. I think that will be enough. size I turned the camera on but I hadn't pressed record haha <laughs> silly me anyway so we are there on that we're at 5 8 so now I just want to part it off put the hole in for tapping I suppose I could tap that now couldn't I M6 Yeah. That will do. That will do nicely. Now, we're going to miss there. Hopefully, we should be all right. little bit is going to have to be hacksawed.
lovely.